Today's video is coming from a question from Julia. Julia had a question on my last video. If you haven't seen it, charging rush project fees, it will be linked above and below. Her question is, should I include all my equipment within my contract or my proposal to the client to be able to justify my price? And the answer to that for me is no. Um, I went through that earlier in my career in the fact of like presenting a client with like, I'm going to bring a 50 millimeter lens, a 35 millimeter lens. I'm going to bring my Ronin. I got my aperture lights, all these different things. And what happened was the clients would be like, Hey, the price is too much. Uh, we don't need a 50 millimeter lens. Can you just use handheld? Like we don't want a stabilizer. You know, if you're going to go to the dentist, and a dentist showed you all those different things. You're like, hey, it's too expensive. I don't need the anesthesia. I don't need you to use that scalpel, whatever it is. He'd be like, no, I need this to do my job. And that's the same mindset I want you guys to keep on, you know, when you're going on to these gigs is bring the gear that you need. The client doesn't know what you need to shoot your video. You know what you need to, to accomplish that. So take that off your project and pretty much keep it short. The only things that I include in my contract are, it begins with the scope of work. And it'd be like, we're gonna shoot a 30 second video for you. This is gonna be a half day shoot. Uh, you're gonna help us come up with the storyboard and we're, we'll do the shot list. And then the video will be done in two weeks. That's the scope of our work. Underneath that, we're gonna have our deliverable. So for this instant, we have one high definition video, uh, one voiceover recording, uh, production crew, storyboard and shot list creation, one location, half day shoot, music licensing, video editing, audio configurations included in the rate, three revisions, and then when the project's done. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, I'm going to do a plug in here, guys. I have all my contracts for sale on the links below, and this is everything I use to run my business. It's only 25 bucks. So that's my agreement, how it looks like. So Julia, I hope that answered your question. Don't include all your equipment on there. Uh, just pretty much focus on the deliverables. The clients for the most part don't care so much about, um, you know, the things you bring. They really care about the final results. So really focus on that. And then if they think the price is too high, you know, I have another video up here talking about how to deal with clients when they try to justify, justify their pricing. Now take you guys through my steps. I have a client meeting or a phone call, talk about what did they want, what did they want to do? What's their goals? From there, we greet her goals. I send them a email going over everything and be like, Hey, we're going to create a video for you. It's going to be 1500 bucks. It's going to be shot in 13 days. They're going to be like, okay. Then I sent them a pretty much a proposal in an agreement it's in one form. I try to keep it simple. I don't want to send a proposal and then, send, and then send another agreement. I want to keep the mailbox as clean as possible. So my proposal and agreement are in one form. From there, I use an app like GoSigner or um, DocuSign. I try to make it easy for them. So they, they just sign online. When I have the agreement back and signed, I then send out a deposit for 50% of the project total. After I have the 50% project total, then I start working. Then I start booking the crew. I start working on a storyboard. I start doing all those things. I don't do anything until I have money in my pocket. Um, you know, I've been burned in the past and you know, for me, unless I have the money, unless I have the contract signed, I'm not working on anything. So I'm working on the project. Now, the next thing we do is we schedule out the shoot date. So if shoot's going to be June 27th, I will send out a Google invite. Uh, to everyone on my crew to like, let them know like, Hey, shoot is this day. Here's the location. I have all the information inside of the Google invite for my crew. I then send a separate Google invite to my client just between them to like, Hey, you know, shoot's going to be June 29th at 10 AM at your place. We'll show up one hour early to set up. We'll start camera rolling at 11 o'clock. You know what I mean? They know what's coming. Day before the shoot, we send a follow-up email like, hey, looking forward to your shoot. Um, we'll be arrive early tomorrow. Let, her know, let us know if you have any questions. We come the next day. I usually show up first. I like to greet the client. From there, uh, I typically like to wait for the whole crew to arrive together. I don't like it if I get there, if, I, if I'm running on time, which is late, 
and you know, my makeup artist is inside, then my PA already showed up. Now my client has to deal with two people that he doesn't have to oversee in his office and I don't like that. So I usually tell my crew like, hey, everybody wait in your cars or wait in the lobby and we'll all go in together. I wanna make this as simple as possible for my client. Shoe goes great, I back up on my footage. That night I sent an email to my client and be like, hey, you know, we backed up your footage, we're starting to work on your project, you should expect to see your first draft in three days. If you have any questions, please let us know. Also, here's a link to pay your 25% uh, from the remaining balance. Pretty much the way I do it is 50% up front, 25% after the day of shooting, and then 25, the remaining 25% is due before I deliver the video. Three days go by, I send them an email, be like, hey, uh, I use Dropbox. Um, that way I disable download links on the video. And then um, they are, I have the pro version, so they're able to leave comments and timestamps on the video itself. I wanna make my client's life as easy as possible. So I use software like that, which is a tax deduction, to be able to you know make their life simple, but also my life simple. I don't want the client writing down that thing at 42 seconds and you know you know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna deal with that. So, hey client, here's the first draft. We still need to, you know, make some changes, but we'll love your feedback. Please respond within three days for us to keep the project in track. Any delays may occur a fee and miss due date. I wanna let them know like, hey, we're gonna be on top of things, but we need you to be on top of things as well because if the project runs late, I don't want you to say that, our, you know, not that I don't want them to say it's our fault, but at least it keeps them no accountable. So send them that, I get revisions back, you know, the next round revision, you know, let them know like, hey, you have, you know, this is your second round, you got one more round, you go through that whole process. Now, as we're getting to the third part of revision, um, the client's like, hey, these are the final things, but hey, great. Here's the final invoice. Um, you know, as soon as you get that taken care of, as soon as we finish, we'll send over the download links for you. And if you need any help uploading a video or anything like that, you know, let us know. So now I'm waiting for them to pay for me to deliver the video. Because you guys know this, as soon as you pay, the clients go away. That, sh that should be a catchphrase there. Cool. So in this process, as we're finishing up, I'm like, hey, you know, you need help. Thanks so much for paying. Also, by the way, if you had, um, you know, a great experience working with us, you know, any referrals, if you might have, and then what would really mean a lot to us if you could leave us a review. You gotta set up Google reviews. You wanna start getting reviews from people. Same thing, make it super easy for them. I copied a link from Google for my reviews. I send that in an email to them. So now I'm trying to get that review from them before the project's over, because you know, out of sight, out of mind, we give them, you know, as soon as the project's done, they're back on with dealing with their own shit. So we got a review, we possibly got a new referral, and the cycle goes on through that again. Um, so I think that's it for today, guys. Like I said, I wanna make this quick. I wanted to kind of give you guys my process. Um, I just got back from the beach, I was surfing, and I'm a little burnt out, but uh, I really wanted to make this video for Julia. She left the comment. And uh, let me know what you guys are gonna learn next. I'll make another video like this. And then, uh, as always, thanks for watching. There's 482 of you guys, or 84 that's up to my channel. Uh, means a lot to me. I am gonna be planning to do a giveaway. Um, you know, I really appreciate the love and support. So, if you got questions, leave them in the comments. If not, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.